All right, so today we're gonna create the face slide effect in Affinity Photo. Now, this effect is ridiculously easy to create. So if you're a beginner and you want to dive more into photo manipulation in Affinity Photo, this is the perfect tutorial for you to start out. We've got this portrait image of this guy and we've got this pointing finger and we want to start off by creating a new document. So if you want to uh, create a new document, what you can do is go to file and click new, or you can use the keyboard shortcut command N and this window will pop up. And I actually used these dimensions down here. So the page width of 3840 uh, pixels and a page height of 2160 pixels. And then I hit create which gave me this uh, canvas to work on. Now let's open the portrait photo of the guy and we actually want to extract him from the background because if you see right now, if I unlock him, you can see that he is still on a white background, which is something I don't really need. So I'm gonna select the flood select tool and I'm gonna click and drag on the background because it's white. And I'm just gonna move to the, my uh, cursor to the right while holding down my mouse button and now I've selected the white background. Obviously I want to select the guy, so I want to invert my selection. So I'm gonna press Command Shift I on the keyboard. And now um, I have selected the guy. Now let's hit refine to refine our selection. And we're gonna use our uh, adjustment brush to refine our selection of the hair. Now this looks good to me. So what we want to do is select our output and um, select new layer and then hit apply which basically brings our guy or our portrait without the background on a separate layer as you can see so let's select our portrait and press command c go to our document and press command v and now we're going to use the move tool to position him somewhere in the middle of our document so somewhere around here it looks pretty fine to me all right so now we want to do the same with this pointing finger so same selection method basically so i'm going to use my flood select tool click and drag to increase the tolerance just a bit this looks about fine to me and i want to invert my selections so i'm going to press command shift i and then i'm going to hit the mask icon now because we didn't refine our selection i didn't have the option to put it on a separate layer so what i can do is um, first deselect press command d make sure you um, rename this correctly so let's rename it finger and what we can do right now is just right click and rasterize and trim and this will basically do the same it will turn our image into a rasterized image let's say so let's select our finger layer and press command c let's go to our document and press command v and for now we're just gonna hide this layer because we're not gonna need it yet all right so how can we um, create this face slide effect we want to use our marquee tool and the marquee tool is basically a tool where you can drag rectangular selections with so we want to select let's say just above the eyebrow or maybe maybe just in right in the middle of the eyebrow and with our portrait layer selected we want to press command x which basically cuts our selection press command d to deselect and then press command v to paste in back our selection but as you can see right now our selection is on a separate layer so let's press command z to um, undo that and what we want to do now is click and hold shift and once you hold shift, you can see that we can drag it straight to the left or straight to the right. So let's drag this one a little bit to the right, uh, to the left, I'm sorry, something like this. And now we're going to do the same thing once again. So let's select the portrait layer, press M on the keyboard and just drag, make a selection just below the eyes. So maybe something like this. I'm going to do, do the same um, keyboard shortcut combo let's say so i'm going to press command x then i'm going to press command d and then i'm going to press command v and somehow i made a portrait um sorry a copy of the portrait in between not sure what happened there but uh, let's hide that for now and there we've got the nose layer and now we want to drag this one to the right a little bit so something like this all right so we're almost done we just want to place in the pointing finger so let's let's unhide our pointing finger layer for now let's um, 
resize it a little bit because it's way too big way too large and you just want to position it where it just touches the hair of the guy so that is one finger now i want to duplicate this layer so i want to press command j to duplicate this layer and i want to right click transform and flip horizontally so this flips our image and then i want to position this one right here now if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more photo manipulation tutorials for affinity photo then consider subscribing to the channel all right i hope you learned something new and i see you in the next one